35 pounds, clean and jerk in 440 pounds for a new world record total of 1,175 pounds. He was most likely the first man in history to have clean and jerked 440 pounds, but the stage was overrun with spectators before the weights could be officially weighed. Though all conditions were met for official world records, Paul's records were never submitted to the International Weightlifting Federation for official recognition. According to Herb Glossbrenner, and I quote, it was a most inexcusable act of negligence and disregard for this athlete as Paul's records were never submitted. Many believe this was by far the greatest singular performance of Paul's amateur career. strongmen draw a small throng to the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia for the National Senior Weightlifting Championships. It's hard work. Another contender tries and barely gets it off the floor. It's risky work, too. Chuck Vinci of York, Pennsylvania, defending title holder in the bantamweight class, lifted a combined total of 690 pounds in the three events to retain his crown. Fourth place in the Bantam Bruisers went to Dave Moyer of Reading, PA. Dave's been doing this for some time. That's a lot of load for anybody's knees to support. Here's a mountain of a man, Paul Anderson of Georgia, who thinks nothing of lifting over a half a ton in a meet. 440 pounds in the clean and jerk for a meat total of 1,175 pounds. Paul weighs 320 himself. Two new world records for Paul Anderson of Tacoa, Georgia. What a man!